Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. In previous video, we have completed update employee feature and uh, in previous video, I have also created delete employee REST API. In this video, let's head over to React application and let's implement delete employee functionality. So ideally what we are going to do is we are going to add a button over here in the actions column uh, just beside update button and once we click on delete button the corresponding employee should get deleted and internally it makes a REST API call to delete the employee from the database. Alright let's go ahead and let's implement delete employee functionality. First we will add a button here okay let's go to the vs id and if you see this is the table and this is the actions column and we have already added a update employee button so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy this button and just paste it here and let's change from edit to delete employee So this is the onclick property of button element and this is the I know uh, arrow function and here I'm gonna change the CSS class name like I'm gonna say button danger and also change button label let's say delete that's it and let's define a delete employee event handler all right let's bind this event handler to the component in a constructor this dot delete employee equals to this dot delete employee and then bind and then pass this keyword and let's go ahead and let's define this method here and just pass id because this id we are passing here employee.id right great now here we will make a rest api call we just write the code here to make a rest api call i am going to make a delete employee rest api call from here inside this method so before that let's save the file and let's go back to the browser and you can able to see here a delete button is added in actions column okay so let's add some inline style to just give here margin left go to the vs code id and in a button delete button here i will just add an inline style so look at here how we can add the inline style so this is a style equals to curly braces and this is the object and this is the key and this is the value so look at here the property this is the attribute in object so this should be in a camel camel case so we define you know attributes in a react like this okay in a camel case all right let's save the file and let's go back to the browser here you can able to see there is a little bit margin between these two buttons now what we'll do we'll add a, a code to make a rest api call let's go to the employee service and here we're going to write the method to make a rest api call let's say delete employee and then pass employee id this is the delete http request so let's call up geos dot delete method and then pass base url after that let's concatenate this with slash and then employee id that's it and let's call this method from the component let's go back to the list component list employee component and here we need to call this method employee service dot delete employee and then pass id and then you can call then method response and 
error syntax after that once we delete the employee what we need to do is we need to remove this particular deleted employee from the employees list so what I will do I will just remove uh, or I just filter this deleted employee from the employees array I don't uh, you know make a all employees rest API call I simply filter a deleted employee from the employees array so this employees array already has all the employees so let me just write the code over here I am just going to filter out this particular employee from the employees array so we have an employees array already it has all the employees data and we are going to filter out the deleted employee from the employees array we are not going to make a rest API call we are going to reduce a rest API call that is a remote call from the client application so that we can make some kind of performance improvement now let's save the file and let's go back to the browser and let's see how it works let's refresh uh, the URL and let's hit delete button yeah so look at here the user is successfully deleted the employee is successfully deleted and I'm going to delete one more employee that is Amir yeah the Amir employee is deleted again let me delete one more employee that is demo here we go so demo employee is also deleted let me delete one more employee that is Thom123 yeah the employee got successfully deleted alright guys we have successfully implemented delete employee functionality in our employee management application thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next one